What's up, guys? Dry Gowns 5 here. I'm getting ready to go to work. Woohoo! Not running rough this morning. Anyways, I'm going to do today's motto vlog. Um, what would you do? What would you get? If you had an option to buy any sports car you want that is street legal, you know, and that's I mean anything, you know, me, I put some thought into it, you know, and then this is if you cut and ride a bike. I mean, if I had my options, I'd just have a couple badass bikes and. <laughs> just a typical everyday driver Honda or whatever but uh if it comes down to it and uh I had to pick and choose any kind of specific car I wanted it would probably be um a Lotus Elise now I know there's bigger, faster, better cars out there, but uh, I like, uh, you know, I like twisty roads in a fast vehicle. Um, I don't really uh, reserve, uh, listen, let me think of a nice way to put this. I don't reserve the testicular fortitude to uh, be laying uh, a badass, uh, you know, street bike down through some twisties i mean i'll lean into a curve pretty good and yeah it does feel good coming out of it but i don't know i'd have to ride a bike a lot to get comfortable with doing some serious you know canyon carving so but anyways if i had the option i would get a lotus lease because um i like the way they look that you got a nice low profile. Oh, that poor turtle. I think it was a turtle. I don't know. But uh, if I had the option, I'd get that. I really, I believe it's the uh, Spreets that they did a V8 in, which I like the uh, Spreets, but uh, the leases just look cooler. You know, the whole uh, mid engine rear wheel setup in them. Um, if they're built right I, and I mean you know this could be the option too you know you can have it built any way you want I mean you know how it is anything that you can put money in you can put money into anything and make it fast you know with, with the exception of you know just being too powerful for the actual motor to hold together so uh, I don't know I mean I'd like an Elise queuing on about 10, 15 pounds of boost if it would handle it. And I'm talking about, I, I like it done to where it would be a comfortable everyday driver. You know, if I was going to have to rely on it all the time, it would have to be fun and it had to be pretty damn fast. I've driven a couple pretty fast cars in my life. Nothing to really write home about. But I have driven some fairly fast cars. Um, but I think if I, you know, I've never even sat in an Elise. And I don't know, hell, I might get in it, sit down and be like, oh, fuck, this ain't for me. You know? Might be a ball crusher, I remember. One of the most evenings I was riding in a, a family member's Fiera and I went to get out and they have those you know little cup bucket seats on the corner you know the, the whole end while you're driving you know but uh, I went to get out and uh, I got one of my balls hung under my leg coming out of that thing because I was kind of trying to get out in a hurry they're so low out of the ground I'm a little fat I had to get some momentum, and I went to roll out of that damn thing, and I rolled my nut under one, my nuts under one of them, one of my legs, and I just 
rolled right over on the ground. And uh, kind of laid there. And uh, it was uh, actually it was my, my uncle at the time. And uh, he walks around and he's like, "Hey, Skippy, what's wrong?" I'm like, "Dude." I look down and he's like, oh shit, you rolled one of your nuts on one of the seats, didn't you? I'm like, yep. He's like, I'll go get the whiskey. <laughs> so, yeah. Evidently, that's a fairly common problem in those cars. At least for us it was. <laughs> but, anyways, that is a, the Fiero is a fun platform. Nice, low to the ground. Uh, unfortunately, that was just a four-cylinder. So, it wasn't real fast, but... It, uh, it ran like it was on rails. I mean, it was, you know, it was a comfortable car. I mean, not really comfortable, but it was, it was, it was stuck to the ground. Now, I'm, you know, like I said, I've driven quite a few different cars. I'm trying to think of them all, but I don't know. What, like, what would you get if you had the option and didn't have, you know, or whatever. I know most of us that are watching these vlogs, you know, vlogs are like, you know, we pretty much be on a bike 24-7 if we could. And some of you do ride your bike 24-7. So, with all that out of the way, if the only option you had was to go to buy a car, what kind of car would you get? Or do you just not give enough of a shit about a car at all that if that was the only option you'd have, you'd just have to suffer? <laughs> Or you would just be happy suffering. Me? Eh. I even, uh, <clears throat> funny thing is, I even like those, uh, <clears throat> at least when they're lowered, even, I know it sounds generic, but I even like the, little look, the look of the little shopping cart wing on the back of them. You know? Yeah, I know a lot of people catch black over that stuff, but oh, so are you gonna drive it to work or are you gonna mow your grass with it? Beat up Nissan now, ain't it? 
it's, it's rough looking. And uh, I took it, got inspected at the dealership there, and they passed it. The only thing they did was put a three dollar bulb in my tank. I didn't even realize it was out. But uh, over here, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but over here, if it fails inspection, you have to do at least. $250 worth of work showing that you tried to rectify the problem. And if you can't provide that, they'll either A, you lose your tag. Um, well, that's, that's pretty much it. You'll lose your tag. I mean. <clears throat> Unless, you know, the past is like, But uh, if it won't pass, you got to at least prove you did $250 worth of work to it, and then they'll give you a waiver for a year. <clears throat> like I said, I believe this is what, what all the way it works here. I, I might be wrong. I mean, I'm uh, uh, not 100% sure. But, um, to prove that you did $250 worth of work to it, they'll give you a waiver, they'll pass you for the year, and then pretty much you got to go through the same thing the next year. Uh, unless you actually, you know, legitimately fix the problem between then and then. But, we all know how it works. Most vehicles check engine lights don't come on until <laughs> it's time to have an inspector. What the tag do? So, I kind of worked everything together now here. Um, we can do all that at one spot. Which is a lot more convenient now. But, uh... Yeah. Kind of jumped off on a tangent there. I just wanted to see what you guys thought. If you uh, had to stay with the car or vehicle, would you just want it just purely out of function because you couldn't ride a bike? Would you want something, something totally badass that could just rip the tire and slap out from under it? Or would you be happy with it? A grocery getter. Get it from point A to point B. You know, do what it's got to do and that's it. I'm just curious. You know, leave a comment. You know, check it out. Let us know what you think, man. I know I've, uh, like I said, I'd, I'd be happy with a little Lotus at least. A little bit of boost. Kind of fast. Something fun to dice through some curvy roads on. If, uh, but anyways just uh let me know what you think this is uh garganus 5 and uh, i'll catch up with you guys later